In Rhode Island, the Senate approved legislation that was spearheaded by a 17-year-old girl to make dining out safer for people who live with food allergies. This legislation is modeled after a Massachusetts law that was passed last year, and if passed by the House, will require restaurants to have on staff a certified food allergy specialist. Texas joined 14 other states by adopting statewide guidelines for managing food allergies in schools. According to the Food Allergy Institute, about 16 to 18 percent of food allergy accidents in children happen at school. The Lemper Report feels that supermarkets must also do their part. As many stores already employ store dietitians, it may be just as important for a store to employ a certified food allergy specialist to meet these specific needs for managing prepared foods and in-store sampling to offering guidance to shoppers on how to stay safe. Stores that pay close attention to the needs of their shoppers may also find that creating sections of shelf space for allergy-free products will not only give their shoppers easy access to foods to consume, but could also help them build relationships with these shoppers that are impressed by this action that not only shows concern for consumers, but also proves that a store is educated on the modern health and wellness needs of Americans. And if food allergies continue to rise as aggressively as they have, that shelf space could grow into an aisle. All about folate when the Lemper Report continues. Monsanto, producing more, conserving more, improving farmers' lives. That's sustainable agriculture. More at producemoreconservemore.com. Vitamin B9, more commonly known as folate or folic acid, is part of the water-soluble B vitamin family. Folate occurs naturally in foods, while folic acid is the synthetic form of folate. One of folate's key functions is to allow for the development of our red blood cells. These cells help carry oxygen around the body. And a type of anemia can occur if folic acid intake is low or one is deficient. Folate is also essential for normal nerve and brain functioning and may help reduce the blood levels of homocysteine. Those elevated levels can increase one's risk of cardiovascular disease. Cells with a quick turnover, like skin cells or gastrointestinal cells and more, are dependent on folic acid for their formation. It's time to educate shoppers. Great folate foods include lentils, romaine lettuce, spinach, turnip greens, beets, pinto beans, black beans, garbanzo beans, avocado, sunflower seeds, mustard greens, and kale. The daily U.S. recommended dietary allowance is 400 micrograms for adults. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.